Stories of the Bible. The parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Come on, let's go on a journey Sailing the ocean of God's great love Come on, let's go on a journey Holding on to His promises from above I'll trust the Lord His promises, His great light will guide my way, blessing me with every day. His love covers my mistakes, sets the path that I should take. Jesus, King of everything, I put my faith in Him. Come on, let's go on a journey, sailing the ocean of God.
This is Matthew 13, 12. We're gonna start by marching like this. And I'm gonna hear you say, hey. And hey, one more time, really loud.
Let me hear you say hey. hey. And one more time, let me hear you say hey. hey. Let's go a little bit louder. Let me hear you say hey. hey. Last time, let's sing out hey. and then howl like a wolf. Ready? Howl. That was great! We're so glad you guys joined us at Scuff at Scout Camp today. We're telling stories around the campfire. Oh yeah, I want to get my storyteller patch. What kind of stories are we telling? We're actually going to tell one of Jesus' parables. Um, Maddie, what's a parable? A parable is a story that Jesus told us to teach us something. Tonight, I want to tell you a parable about a king and a servant who had trouble with forgiveness. What's forgiveness? Forgiveness is when we let go of all the bad feelings towards someone and we don't punish someone for the bad. Oh, oh, I get it. So, what's the story for today? Well, the story is about a king who forgave a servant who owed him one million dollars. Whoa, that's more dollars than I've ever seen! I know, me too! The king forgave him, but then, guess what the servant did? Oh, what'd he do? The servant went to someone who owed him just a thousand dollars and demanded that he give it back. Oh no! Yeah, that made the king super mad and the king threw the servant in prison. Yikes! That's a sad story. I wish it ended differently. I know, me too. But that story shows us what we shouldn't do. We shouldn't be like the servant who didn't forgive others when he was forgiven of so much. God has forgiven us so much, so we should forgive others. Right. I know that God has forgiven me, so I will do my best to forgive others. Me too, but I don't owe a king one million dollars. Hmm. Well, let's think of a way to tell the story in a way that makes sense to you. Hmm, has someone ever done something wrong to you? Oh yeah! What happened? After I broke my Lego, an accident of course, but I forgave him. Wow, that's great that you forgave Hector Winston, but what if he went and didn't forgive someone else? Oh, that would be bad. Yeah. Winston, why don't you tell us a story of what that would look like? Okay, there once was a pink scuppet who was playing Legos with a red scuppet. The red scuppet had built a totally awesome, amazing Lego set. There was a tractor and a helicopter and even a motorcycle. The pink scuppet stood up and knocked the table over, shattering the Lego set. The red scuppet was so mad. He said the pink scuppet would have to put it back together all by himself. But the pink scuppet said, please red scuppet, I could never do that on my own. Please forgive me. The red scuppet felt bad for the pink scuppet, so he forgave him. Then the pink scuppet went outside to paint the house. A certain yellow scuppet was walking down the street, practicing her ballet moves. The yellow scuppet ran into the pink scuppet's ladder, sending the pink scuppet and all the paint tumbling to the ground. The pink scuppet was so mad. He 
said that the yellow scuppet would have to buy new paint and do the job herself. The yellow scuppet said, please pink scuppet, I don't have any money to buy new paint, but I will work to get it. The pink scuppet said, no, I want it now. I will never forgive you. Then the pink scuppet put the yellow scuppet in time out forever. When the red scuppet heard all about this, he sent for the pink scuppet and said, you meanie scuppet, I forgave you of so much. Since you couldn't forgive the yellow scuppet, I no longer forgive you. So the red scuppet put the pink scuppet in timeout until he could rebuild the whole Lego set, which would take him forever. The end. <laughs> that was great, Winston. Congratulations, you get your Scuppet Scout storytelling patch. <laughs> Winston's story reminds us that we should forgive others. We shouldn't be mean to others and punish them because we know that God has forgiven us of so much. He sure has. I will remember to forgive others. Yeah, and I will too. That's great. Friends, remember that God loves you so much and that he will forgive you when you ask him to. So, we should forgive others. We'll see you next time, Scuppet Scouts. Let's do one last Scuppet Scout salute, okay? Okay. okay. Hello! Oh. <laughs>